Well guys, thank you all for joining me a second time and this time we'll play the same mod, link will be down below in the description. With the only difference being, oh, so I clicked too fast, we will play as the Kingdom of Württemberg, which apparently has more than 150 focuses in the focus tree, so we all just do the same rules, which I've set up, all random, USA, SSR, France and Japan will go fascist, or uh, if they have a nice and fun game. Yeah, I'm also gonna turn off uh, war goals, always free, you know, just to have some fun. Always free war goals, the rest will stay, so as you guys see, the rest just stays. Grant independence, yeah, whatever, so let's just get straight into the game, shall we? Let's see, the kingdom of Württemberg. Also guys, please leave a like and subscribe. Also, draw, drop a comment below, would be greatly appreciated. We'll do the... It's a huge focus. We'll do the fate of the kingdom. The question is, which path do we want to take, guys? I don't know. Which path we want to take? What is this Fun App guy? Fun App. Oh, he is... He's fascist. He's apparently fascist. So let's go fascist. Let's go fascist. <laughs> we can also go communist. But the fascist tree seems to be the best, because... The communist one, we cannot reunite Germany. But in the fascist one, we can. Forced Anschluss reunification campaign. Oh, that looks great. Looks like great fun. That looks like the uh, three that's most. Uh, the folks do that's most fun, I think. Well, we can proclaim Groß Deutschland. So, <laughs> it looks like fun, guys. So, we just have to uh, do the great revolution. Where the monarchy will fall, and I think we'll ready our troops against the Bavarians. We have zero commanders, so uh, let's get two. Okay. And we... St uh, at least we start off with something. We start off with some sprites, although I, I don't know why we just don't have the German. We have, like, a unique... We have the generic sprites, guys. We don't have the German ones, which I cannot understand why that's not the case, okay? Like, but it is how it is, so what you gonna do? Get this basic line rolling. Yeah. We have a factory output of minus 50% and population factor of also 50%. Like, if we aren't weak enough already, we can barely produce something. So, <laughs> well, that's great. The threatened monarchy. Keep an eye on it. We have thousands go to the streets. Okay, let them go to the street. Now we just gotta wait. Let's revitalize the country, because we can get some nice uh, factories here, and lots of resources. Lots of resources, so uh, the Bavarian line, interestingly. Huh. Well, let's just fight for now. So here, we can organize free elections on let's not give in. We won't give in. Now we should have gotten some focus automatically. Uh, okay, not yet, we just gotta wait for another event. Socialist sees Ulm. Oh, that is bad. Where is Ulm even? Somewhere here, I think. Wilhelm Kyle calls for a general uprising. Our stability is 5%. 5%. That's great, for sure. The main cities of the country, including the capital, were taken by Democrats and the king fled Stuttgart. Okay, so we have apparently turned democratic. Uh, but we'll get more events. Our future isn't certain yet. I'll just go ahead and get these... Uh, what should we get? Extra... Uh, Let's get these land forts. We don't need it. Oh, the king has been assassinated. Oh, no. Albrecht Herzog von Württemberg dies. Von der App prepares the march on Stuttgart. Let's come with all possible troops to cut the supply line. Oh, what? I think we have to do that. Otherwise, uh, it will fail, I think. Uh, yeah, so I think we gotta do the first opinion. The first choice otherwise i think we would not succeed would make sense right or it's maybe just, just, just a try and would succeed maybe, maybe both ways who knows oh i have done the wrong event i what i have done is uh i god damn it i wanted to go fascist i sh i should select the la i should have selected the last option uh, i think it is too late now will we get the event again i think i have to uh re start the run up until this point yeah, okay, so well, we know what to do, uh, we know what to do if we want to unlock 
unlock this focus tree. Uh, so, okay, well, guys, I'll be back by playing all the way uh, up until this point. <laughs> Well guys, so here we are with the event again. Let's not put ourselves at risk like this. And this in turn should mean that uh, Fun App will take the lead, I think. Oh, this time... Okay, long live the new leader. Uh, there we go. We restored order. We're still struck by the Treaty of Strasbourg. Our Franz Fun App, he's apparently exiled. He is living under a fascist. Saxony, okay, we can sign a peace. So now we can go down. We can either restore the monarchy. We won't restore the monarchy. We'll uh, let Fun App take the lead. Well, to be honest, these focuses taking 70 days, guys, that's quite a bit. Okay, this is quite a bit. This is, in my opinion, too long. Like 70, 140, all of this would take almost one, one year, guys, to be honest. Like one year. So my suggestion would be... To reduce the time it takes to complete the focuses because 70 days for these ones is just far, far too much. And what I will do is, I hope you guys don't mind, I'll just. Uh, so, guys, it would take far too long. So, it would be like 700 days. What? So, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, well, it will be like three years until we can declare war on Bavaria, guys. Three bloody years. So I, I won't do that, just to show you how the mod works, actually. I'm gonna rush through this path. You see, war support, killing the royal family, uh, militias, call by force, crackdown corps, supreme ruler, the crimes of greater Germany, horse construction, human guinea pigs, labor camps, Birth Promoting Act, Face the Blitz, Reunification Campaign, and then Strike Bavaria. Okay, so I think we can turn the Focus Auto Complete off, because now we can actually do something. So we can, what we'll do, we'll prepare the army. Let's go ahead, uh, prepare the, let's end the humiliation from the French. Yeah, we have some pristine divisions. How many? Uh, 45 thousands in the field. Prussia is, is going the unification path for Germany, as it seems, declaring war on the uh, German nations. We have 15 military factories that we are still heavily constrained in our uh, actual uh, ca capability to uh, produce. Because we, well, lack first and foremost uh, resources. So anyway, I want to go ahead and declare war on Bavaria. Let's see. Okay, we are being attacked by them. That is good. So they can just crush their troops against us. Just drain them out. We might have to face a war against Prussia at one point. Well, we didn't have to do war propaganda. We've still done it. Like I've said, all of this, like just waiting for three years, guys, would, in my opinion, take far, far too long. So just reducing it to maybe 35 days. Maybe even less would be uh, the better option. Oh, they are gonna push through. Okay, not, never mind. Just to demonstrate, I'm like finishing this is, is a nice path, but that takes far too long as well, to be honest. Far too long. Well, anyway, I'm not gonna rush through that. I rushed through all of this already. Next thing is we need uh, resources, but this takes just so long, so. Okay, so I've finished all of that as well, just for the purpose of being able to have fun. You know, guys, just for the purpose of being able to have fun. Now we can just do, uh, I expose fun app, a Soviet Union. Let's do, prepare the army for some army experience. Uh, can we push against Bavaria? Let's, let's just try to push. It looks nice. Let's see. Prussia is declaring wars. We have captured Munich already. Let's see if we can cut them in half. Yes, we did. Great. So we might face a resurgent pressure in a little bit. So without rushing through the focus tree, they would have crushed us, I'm sure. Well, Prussia reunified a <laughs> part of Germany, for sure. And the war is coming to an end, I hope. Well, it's 15,000. The Berenzler, 64,000. So with just final last 
trust they should surrender and we should win it. Come on, like complete all out offensive. Let's see how they capitulate. I think we gotta get the airy tile that they own, I think. Well, it's it's kind of fun, so that's okay. Now we only have two German nations though. Prussia and well, us. We really gotta capture every tile. We did, okay, we did. So Bavaria is ours. There we go. Next one, we are called Groß Württemberg. Well, that's an interesting name for sure. Can we defeat Austria as well before Hungary annexes them? I don't know. <laughs> we apparently have mobile warfare. Well, I think the best path. What is the best path? Is it mobile warfare or something else? Nah, it's not mobile warfare. I don't wanna. I'll just do uh, here. Superior firepower. That's the better choice. So we have three things already researched. That, that's something. And the second Russian civil war just fired off. And the Chinese have from formed. And the peasants uprising in Russia. We are doing the forced Anschluss. Which I hope will enable us to get, uh, well, Austria. For free, essentially. Well, that would be great. We will declare war on Austria at once. Declare war and attack into their territory. Let's see if we can do some nice encirclements here of the Austrian army. Yes, we can. Oh, well, they're reinforcing that. They have, well, a good amount of troops for sure. But I think they'll crumble eventually on our minds. Yeah, they should. The war against Austria is not an easy one, but thankfully they really lack division, so the AI just doesn't know what to do, so we can do some very quick encirclements. The reunification campaign is always great, but the only one to reunify will be Prussia. So we are crushing them, we capture Vienna, and then they should... Well, there we go, Austria surrendered. Not forget, we can just take all of our states. Boom! Now, uh, Groß Württemberg and the North German Confederation. That's uh, what remains. Well, guys, I think what simply has to happen is well, after I got these troops out, I'm gonna go ahead and declare war on uh, the North German Confederation. Just we'll wait until they are fully trained and then we'll strike towards them. Well, we just have 22 divisions. Okay, that's it's not much at all, but it's enough. We're gonna declare war on the North German Confederation. And we are actually winning. We have uh, maybe around the same amount of troops than they do. Let's just try to march towards Berlin. Let's see how long this war will uh, drag itself out. But guys, as I've said, I have really... Uh, what I've done is we have... 300% uh, for more, well, what, three times 300%, so you, you, sh you should have better <laughs> uh, state with mobile warfare, as you see, because you get a massive bonus, but keep, keep in mind, we only have this, uh oh, we have been encircled there, we only have this because, uh... okay, that's not good. Because I have rushed uh, a little bit of focus piece, so that's why we only have this, actually. Don't forget that. Isn't this interesting that the Prussians are not able to, to withstand our might? So, well, the war isn't a walk uh, in the garden for sure, but we have encircled a nice portion of the Prussian army, which we are gonna really crush now. Completely. But keep in mind, to reach this, we would have uh, required to play for... Uh, like two years extra or three years extra, which would not have been uh, fun, for sure. So, uh, long live the Kaiser or come and get us, if, if you want. I mean, we are at war already, so that doesn't really change much in the grand scheme of things, does it? We're just encircling Prussian troops one after one. Uh, they lost 102,000 already, but they pumped out quite a bit more. So the war will maybe drag itself on for a while. Let's uh, kill, finish off this cauldron and then see. How things look, and the Soviet Union, it doesn't look good for the Soviet Union, that is, uh, for sure. And well, we have uh, just marched through the sides to Berlin. Now, let's see, we just encircled two more Prussian divisions. Prussian losses are at 160,000, yet they are pumping out more and more troops. And interestingly, they aren't willing to give up easily, but they will, they will. And one more division is crushed, the Soviet Union is falling apart more and more. It says reunification of Germany, but what Germany is not united again? Uh, 
They aren't gonna dig. Uh, I don't know, like, they they are about to surrender and then they just thought, yep, we'll proclaim the unification of Germany. Interestingly. So, well, other than that, there's not... Okay, the French turned fascist. The French turned fascist with all this fly. Well, the German Empire is no more, is it? It is all a Gross Württemberg now. But we can proclaim Gross Deutschland after we finish that focus. Well, so thanks to rushing things a little bit, we have proclaimed Gross Deutschland as it seems. Okay, so with this focus, we can actually get a puppet on Netherlands, Belgium, Netherlands, Luxembourg. Alright, so I wouldn't even have to do uh, the justification. I can just cancel it. There we go. Oh, ask to join a faction. Well, the French wants to join a faction. Okay, so they joined Gross Deutschland, interestingly. Like they thought, yeah, we are being declared on. Let's just better join them. But why are the Yugoslavs? Uh, all because they are fighting together with the French. That's that's why. Okay. Well, Estonia unified the Baltics. So uh, there is a strong Baltic state now with lots of core population. And uh, the Russian government <coughs> won the Russian Civil War. So the, th the thing is, will they reclaim their territories? Likely they will, but who knows. And I can invite the Baltic Unitary State to our faction. There we go. So now we have uh, the French, the Germans and the Baltics in our nice, sweet faction. We can puppet uh, Belgium, Netherlands and Luxembourg, which we will do. And after that we will recover Danzig and then we might conclude it. I'm not interested in joining your wars, I'm sorry. What they have is no more humiliations, but I think with the declaration of war, to declare, declare, and declare. Okay, no one joined the faction. Let's see if we can rush them before they decide to join a faction, actually. That would be pretty smart, I think. I won't call on my allies. The front should be united. There we go. Just like that. Boom, boom. Check aggressively, use our air force or what's left of it, and no, don't go. Don't go that way. We gotta fix that slightly, just like that, and then yeah, let's see. Okay, there are no troops. Luxembourg has capitulated. Let's see, Ooh, Amsterdam is ours. Now Rotterdam as well. Well, in Luxembourg, which is part of Germany. Rotterdam, come on, before they join the allies, that would be great. Well, okay, they, they didn't join any faction as it seems, so, uh, Brussels has fallen, Rotterdam has fallen, the Dutch should surrender, there we go, we cannot take the Dutch as in this, no, well, satellite, uh, Suriname until, what is it this, no, I'll just take all states. There we go. And now the Belgians left. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? All states. There we go. We have 133 factories, a huge industrial base for sure. Uh, well, so that is that's about that. We will also do recover Danzig, and then our next war will be against the Poles. So we recover Danzig. Well, I didn't give in. We'll go ahead. Fair war. I don't know why they're not joining any factions. Like the allies exist, but the US they aren't guaranteeing them anyway. So I don't know. They they, they could guarantee, and I didn't turn the option off. So this is just weird. I've been able to to uh, to annex. Okay, now they join the allies at last. But why didn't Poland join the allies? That is kind of odd. I mean, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. If you know, perhaps why? Please let me know. Okay, okay, now factions are forming at last. Let's just hope we can get Poland before the allies form. There we go. The Polish peasant union has fallen and of course they will be just fully annexed. So this is how large we are. Uh, pretty, pretty strong as a powerhouse. If we declare against uh, the Czechs, it will take 160 days. Well, uh, so well guys, I think I'm gonna end the episode here. So, this is playing as Württemberg, but keep in mind that I have uh, rushed a few things to make it fun, and it's 1939 already. 
I say I thank you all for watching and I hope uh, that you all have a nice day. Goodbye and see you next time.